Hello, welcome back to the Mark Janot Show, the tech show about hacking. In this video, I'm going to break down what is a CPU, GPU, TPU, QPU, DPU, UEU, UEU, me, me, UEU, e. We do keep quiet. I'm going to cover all the U's out there. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. <laughs> CPU versus GPU versus TPU. The difference between CPU, GPU, and TPU is that the CPU handles all of the lo logics, calculations, and input slash output of the computer. It is a general purpose processor. In comparison, GPU is an additional processor that to enhance the graphical interface and run high-end tasks. TPUs are powerful custom-built processors to run the project made on a specific framework, i.e. TensorFlow. CPU, which is the central processing unit, manage all the functions of a computer. GPU, graphical processing unit enhance the graphical process uh, graphical performance of the computer tpu tensor process tensor processing unit custom built uh ac asic to accelerate tensor flow projects so what is the cpu cpu stands for the central processing unit and considered as the brain of the computer it is the primary hardware of the computer that executes the instruction for computer programs all the basic arithmetic logic controlling and the cpu handles input slash output functions of the program. CPU runs the operating system, continually receiving inputs and providing output to the users. A CPU contains at least one processor. The processor is an actual chip inside the CPU to perform all of the calculations. For a long time, CPUs had only one um, processor, but now dual core CPUs, which is the CPU with two processors are common. There are also four processor CPUs that are quad core CPUs. Some high end companies also build CPUs with eight processors. Some popular manufacturers, we have Intel, AMD, Qualcomm, NVIDIA, IBM, Samsung, Hewlett Packard, VIA, etc. Now, what is a GPU? While CPU is known as the brain of the computer, the logical thinking section of the computer, GPU helps in displaying what is going on in the brain by rendering the graphical user interface visually. GPU stands for graphical processing unit and it is integrated into each CPU in some form. Uh, but some tasks and applications require extensive visualizations that available in built GPU can handle. Tasks such as computer aided design, machine learning, video games, live streaming, video editing and data scientists. Simple tasks of rendering basic graphics can be done with the GPU built into the CPU. For other high-end jobs, GPU is made. Moreover, if you want to do extensive graphical tasks but don't want to invest in physical GPU, you can get GPU servers. GPU servers are servers with GPU that can remote that you can remotely use to harness the raw processing power to comp to complex calculations. Popular GPU manufacturers, we have Nvidia, AMD, Broadcom Limited. GPU is typically expensive. Best option is to get the GPU server on rent and use the GPU power without buying the GPU server. Right? Get the get your GPU GPU server now. Now, what is TPU? Tensor processing unit is an application specific integrated circuit to accelerate the AI calculations and algorithm. Google develops it specifically for neural network machine learning for the TensorFlow software. Google owns TensorFlow software. Google started using TPU in 2015, then they made it public in 2018. You can have TPU as a cloud or smaller version of the chip. TPUs are are uh, TPUs are custom built processing units to work for a specific app framework that is TensorFlow, which is an open source machine learning platform with state of the art tools, libraries, and community so the users can quickly build and then deploy. Uh, ML apps. Cloud TPU allows you to run your machine learning projects on TPU using TF. Designed for powerful performance and flexibility, Google's TPU helps researchers and developers to run models with high level TensorFlow APIs. Uh, the models who use to take weeks to train on GPU or any other hardware can put out uh, in hours with TPU. TPU is is only used for TensorFlow projects by researchers and developers, manufacturer, which manufacturer, right? Only Google makes them. Only Google. So what is better, TPU or GPU? G GPUs and TPUs both have their own advantage advantages and disadvantages. A single GPU can process thousands of tasks at once, but GPUs are typically less efficient 
in the way they work with neural networks than a TPU. TPUs are more specialized for machine learning calculations and require more traffic to learn at first, but after that, they are more impactful with less power consumption. So is TPU faster than CPU? TPUs are three times faster than CPU and three times slower than GPUs for performing a small number of predictions. So how much faster is TPU versus GPU? Now, TPU is 15 or 30 times faster than current GPUs. Let's talk about uh, DPU, <laughs> all these use. Originally, the CPU had a single processing core and acted as the central component of personal computers. The CPU has evolved over the years. The GPU began to handle more complex computing tasks, and now a new pillar of computing emerges in the data processing unit. The DPU offloads networking and communication workloads from the CPU. It combines processing cores with hardware accelerator blocks and a high-performance network interface to tackle data-centric workloads at scale. This architectural approach enables the DPU to make sure the right data goes to the right place in the right format quickly. The DPU is essential designed to process data moving around the data center. It focuses on data transfer, data reduction, data security, and powering data analytics, as well as encryption and compression. Now, this means it supports more efficient data storage and frees up the CPU to focus on application processing. A DPU can also address server not e efficiency when you place it at the heart of data centric infrastructure. It can mitigate sprawl, deliver high availability and reliability, and ensure the quick uh, accessibility and shareability of data regardless of how much data requires processing and transferring and ability and ability and ability. <laughs> DPU processing is specific to use cases with large scale data processing needs such as data centers, supporting cloud environments and supercomputers driving complex AI, ML and deep learning algorithms. What is QPU? A QPU aka quantum processor is the brain of the quantum computer that uses the behavior of particles like electrons or photons to make certain kinds of calculations much faster than processing processors in today's computers. QPUs rely on behaviors like superposition, the ability of a particle to be in many states at once, described in the relativity new branch of physics called quantum mechanics. By contrast, CPUs, GPUs, and DPUs all apply principles of classic physics to electrical currents. That's why today's systems are called classical computers. QPUs could advance uh, cryptography, quantum simulations, and machine learning and solve thorny optimization problems. So how does a quantum processor work? CPUs and GPUs calculate in bits on and off states of electrical current that represent zeros or ones. By contrast, QPUs get their unique powers by calculating in uh, qubits quantum bits that can represent many different quantum states. A qubit is an abstraction that computer scientists use to express data based on the quantum state of a particle in a QPU. Uh, like the hands on a clock, qubits point to quantum states that are like points in a sphere of possibilities. The power of a QPU is often described by the number of qubits it contains. Researchers are developing additional ways to test and measure the overall performance of a QPU. Uh, so. QPU, DPU, CPU, Chipichu, UPU, EPU, EPU, <laughs> all these U's. Uh, so what do you think about this video? Please let me know. Is there something that I missed? Uh, please let me know in the comment section below. I appreciate your viewership. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the, not please hit the notification bell. Uh, please share the content. See you on the next video.